100 cars were hit during the Thanksgiving weekend by a teen who was driving around firing a BB gun. It happened in residential neighborhoods of Macomb and Clinton Townships. As 7 Action News reporter Brad Galley shows us the prank was destructive. The holiday weekend gives people a chance to get together with family and friends. In this Clinton Township neighborhood, people will be left with some less than warm memories. My parents have been here for, I don't know, 15 years, and nothing has ever happened like this. A pair of boys in a car drove past houses armed with BB guns and unloaded. They hit dozens of cars, totaling nearly 100 in Macomb and Clinton Township. I was outside actually putting my Christmas lights up, and uh, I was in the front of the house, and I heard pop, pop, pop. Didn't notice anything in the area until 45 minutes later when I went to lock my truck and I saw glass shattered all over the back. You know it's a BB gun, but that's still got to spook you a little bit to know that, okay, if your kids were out here, what could have happened? Well, yeah, I mean, and it could have been in the, in the truck. I mean, we always come and go. Glass shattered all over the booster seats. The car. Town from Chicago celebrating Thanksgiving with her parents. I wasn't expecting to have a broken window on my brand new car that I just got last week. <laughs> brand new car. Yeah, just got it last week. I can't understand it. Um, I, it's just, a, just stupid decisions by young kids most likely. Many of the people we talked to were still discovering the trail of vandalism this morning. And when they found their car windows shattered and broken, it left them angry, frustrated, and most of all, fearful of what might have been. There's a lot of times where you're, you're, you're putting your, your children in the car, you're making runs in and out of the house. It's, it's scary. At this point, the Macomb County Sheriff's Department and the Clinton Township Police Department are working together in a joint effort, but they do not have anyone in custody. In Macomb, Brad Galley, 7 Action News.